Fortnite is releasing banger after banger today because they just announced something about OG season and they also have just released a chapter 5 season 1 trailer early. The event hasn't even happened at the time of making this video but we know so much about season 1. So if you're not wanting it to get spoiled really then you could click off but come back later because there is so much that we know already og season might actually be staying somehow so you're gonna have to wait until the end to see that because i'm gonna explain chapter five first fortnite has just posted the gameplay trailer and it's on the screen right now there is a train yes this train is going to go around the whole map and we are going to be able to jump on it fight on it and do all sorts of things as we can see, we can also see Jones and this new girl. And Jones picks up a piece of paper that says, Nana, we have your banana. Somebody has stolen Peely from us. So what do we have to do? We have to get kitted up with our brand new modded weapons. This is very exciting. We finally have gotten weapon mods. We can see many new cars in this trailer. There's tons of them. We can see maybe even Octane from Rocket League. And here's a better look at the train. We get a riot shield, all sorts of new weapon mods, wall climbing and wall running, Lamborghinis, a new shields, and a grapple blade. You can now walk and use shields at the same time. And they even brought Peter Griffin out. I'm really excited for this trailer. There's a lot of little things hidden throughout it. In the background, you can actually hear Joan's theme song. But there's something even more important inside of the description. It says, Fortnite Battle Royale takes on a striking new appearance in Underground. Discover an entirely new island with new POIs that feature the factions of the society versus the Underground. Seek your revenge for the kidnapping of poor Peely with an entirely fresh arsenal of weapons and items. And of course, with a new season, you'll find a Big Bang Battle Pass with pages of new cosmetics. Check out the lineup of outfits geared up and ready for the action from daybreak until dawn. Located in vaults are mod benches, which have mods available for many weapons in exchange for bars. Add mods that reduce recoil, increase mag capacity, and more. Save your bars wisely though, as not every mod works with every weapon. The outfits are underground, underdogs, and the society's cream de la cooked, crooked. With the Big Bang Battle Pass purchase, you'll auto unlock Troublemaker Hope, the hope of the underground. Progress in the battle pass to unlock more outfits. Now we see the name of all the outfits. Oscar, Vengeance Jones, Nisha, Montague, Peter Griffin, and Valeria. The Big Bang Battle Pass also has an unlockable car body. Get your sports car ready to strike with Scorpion. The battle pass also has unlockable decals for the Scorpion's exterior. That's actually a little tease at the end for the new upcoming racing game mode. Fortnite has just tweeted something about OG Fortnite. Yesterday, they actually tweeted that we had 100 million players during the month of November, their biggest month ever. So Fortnite today realized something. They said, not gonna lie, the OG season far exceeded our expectations. So much so that we'd like to bring it back. And then they say, opens 2024 roadmap dock. In the meantime, see you on the battle bus. I don't know what opens 2024 roadmap dock means. This means that we'll actually have another chance to play on the map. Now that we've shown everything from the trailer and all the secrets coming in chapter 5, season 1, that we know of, let's talk about the storyline. Yes, we haven't seen the event yet, which means we know basically none of it, but from what we can tell from the trailer, Peely has been stolen by the society, and we are the underground, so this season is going to be something called the society versus the underground. We have to figure out why Peely was stolen, and we have to actually get Peely back. That's kind of all we have so far. I hope that we get some sort of cinematic trailer, but I don't think we will this season. But this is definitely taking a creepy and interesting turn. But it looks like they're kind of doing a soft reset for this storyline. 
Yes, Jones is still here, which means that the other stuff probably still exists. But the fact that we're just getting this about Peely right now is actually refreshing and fun. Let's hope that they don't drop the ball, and let's hope that Charlie Wen can pick it up and do really well with it. Society vs. Underground actually sounds a lot like something in Hunger Games. Where there's a group of people that are doing the right thing, they know what's right, but then there's the majority of people who are kind of wicked and they don't understand. Which would technically be society, when society is wicked and they have a wrong look at life, but they think it's right but obviously it's not right. So then there's the underground who are here to kind of take over and explain and show what's wrong. Because the people that are leading the society kind of know it's wrong, but the people in the society might not know that it's that bad. For Hunger Games as example, they are using it for television, but that's obviously terrible because you have to fight and kill people, but it's just a television show, so people don't really care as much. And it seems like it's a normal thing, but it's really, it's wrong. And I like that story for Fortnite. I like that Jones is kind of leading this army towards the society to kind of take them down. Something I forgot to mention in the trailer is actually we will be getting Teen Mutant Ninja Turtles. In the background in one of the cave areas, you can actually see Teen Mutant Ninja Turtles on the wall. 